What's up? Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be going over what I believe to be the top 10 most disappointing skins in Fortnite. Now, I usually try to keep my videos pretty objective, but what I wanted to do today is not just simply a top 10 worst skins, because if you really wanted to break down just worst skins, you'd go like default skin number one, default skin number two. But what I thought we would do today are, are skins that, you know, the community thought were gonna be cool, skins that I thought were gonna be cool, and turned out to just be absolute garbage. Kind of like my content. So this video is gonna be pretty opinion based, but I just really need to get it out and, and you know, just, just vent all my frustrations I have of buying so many pointless skins. Now if you guys are new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. I wanna thank you guys all for the two million. I'm gonna have a video coming within like a month or so, but uh, let's just, let's just hop into it. So our number 10 spot is going to be a bit of an interesting one because not long ago did I say that this is going to be the best skin of season four. Ladies and gentlemen, our number 10 spot is going to be Zoe. So like day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, I thought that this skin was going to be just like the new cuddle team leader where you've got this very bright, colorful, you know, out outfit skin, whatever. And uh, you know, it was gonna be like that terrifying yet cute skin. Honestly though, after the few weeks the season four has already been out, um, I kind of hate this skin. I, I don't think it looks that good. When I see it, I'm not scared because it, <sighs> I just got used to it and it's stupid. Now this is a pretty good example of why you should maybe never trust my top tens because you know, I made a pretty bold prediction. I said this is gonna be the new cuddle team leader and it's, it's really not. The cuddle team leader is the new cuddle team leader because they just keep bringing it back and back and back. So in my personal opinion, I, I'm not a big fan of Zoe and uh, she comes in at number 10. Now moving now to our number nine spot. This is some relatively new skins we got rocking here. It's the Hazard Trooper and the Toxic Agent. So honestly, I just feel like the idea for these skins was was great, and they they just flopped. These things remind me of like just a super bad version of the astronauts from season three. I really don't think that they look all that good, and more importantly, for such a cool idea. It just it had so much more potential than what they actually released. For anyone that's a fan of Call of Duty Zombies, I was really hoping that this theme was gonna be like your Nuketown Zombies agents, but no, they just look goofy and, and stupid and, and weird. Moving down to our number eight spot, guys, this is going to be the Sergeant Green Clover. Now, the reason that I'm disappointed about this skin is, is it, you know, as this list is going to be, it's very personal. Okay, so my name is Patrick. <laughs> and like at least 75% of my family is from Ireland. So to me, St. Patrick's Day is, is, a, is a pretty cool day. I love Ireland, I've been there, it, it's, it's just an amazing place. So for me, I just, I had really high hopes of, of a St. Patrick's Day and Irish themed skin, and it just looks dumb. I don't really know how you would make this better, cause you know, it's just like a leprechaun outfit, but it just, it, 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 it didn't, it didn't live up to the expectations that I had for it. And more importantly than that, consider all the cool holiday themed skins we've had in the past, like your Halloween ones, your Christmas ones, Valentine's Day, just they keep getting dropped back and back and back, but St. Patrick's Day was just poof. The Highland Warrior and the Battle Hound were okay, I guess, but this one was just a, a bomb skin. Now moving down to our number seven spot, this is going to be Power Cord. So when I purchased this skin, you know, it's a legendary, it was $20 or 2000 V bucks. In my mind, I was thinking that I'm probably not gonna use the actual skin very much. She just doesn't look all that cool. And realistically, you know, there, there's better skins out there. But the reason that I paid $20 for this skin was literally for the back bling. I'm a huge, okay, huge guitar fan, music fan, and I was like, that is gonna be sick. I'm gonna be able to run around with a guitar on my back. Now I've got a few issues with this bling. A, it, it's a pink guitar. And I can kind of get get past that because it goes it goes really nicely with some of the skins. But B, it it pokes out like four feet over your head. It is actually a pay to lose skin because people can see your guitar when you're crouching. And while it looks freaking awesome and it goes with so many cool skins, at the end of the day. 
I just, I can't use it. Okay, so coming in at number six, this is gonna be the Rabbit Raider. Now this was the male pink rabbit part of the Easter set. And when I first got this guy, I was like, yeah. And now I'm like, no. At the end of the day, dude, if you want a pink skin, it's just, it's gotta be the Cuddle Team Leader. Hands down, every time. The Rabbit Raider is literally a cheap knockoff of the Cuddle Team Leader. And the female Easter skin is so thick that I just don't know why anyone would ever use this guy. So this is probably one of the most disappointing purchases I've ever made in Fortnite. Now coming in at our number five spot, we've got 16 skins in one at this point. It's the Alpine Ace and Mogul Master. Never have I seen and experienced personally so much hype for a skin for it to just never be used in my library. Now, I'm from Canada, but I'm just, I don't know, I, I find the Union Jack, okay, shout out to the UK, to be like one of pretty much the, honestly, probably the coolest flag in the world. I just thought it had a, a nice design, and when I bought the Alpine Ace version of that, I didn't buy it based on country, really, I just was like, that one looks the coolest to me. Um, and even though it looks cool, I just, I just never use it. I, I mean, first off, you've got the back bling where you've got the skis poking out. Okay, actually, they're blades, but you got the blades poking out the back. And it's like, pfft. okay, that's, that's, that's bad already. Kind of the same issue as the guitar. But on top of that, even if I had bought the Canadian one, I just, like, I don't really, I don't really like it. I don't know what it is, because I, I want to like it. I think it looks cool but it's just a skin that I never use. So our next spot on this list isn't a skin that I bought, um, but more just a personal rant about what I think is one of the stupidest skins in Fortnite. This is the, the Steel Sight, or as I have in my notes here, the whack ass robot chick. Dude, I just, you know, Epic Games makes good skins, but <laughs> what, were the, what were they thinking? Like, it's just, <laughs> It's just so stupid looking. Okay, anyways, moving on. Um, our next spot, number three, is the light show. I actually have the honor of saying I bought this skin when I was drunk. Um, Fortnite dropped it in just on a random Saturday night and I was like, hey, that looks sick, obviously. Now, I don't regret the purchase. I, you know, I really am glad that I bought it, but my, my problem with this skin is not so much the, the look, but the, the, the amount that it stands out. Okay, back in season three, do you remember how everyone was like, yo, I love the Dark Voyager, but the orange, you know, that little bit of orange on his chest stands out? Okay, take that orange and cover it all over your body, but make it green, and you have the light show. It is literally a walking neon sign saying, hey, I am right here, bullets over here. So while it is a, a sick skin, and I love using it for videos because I think it looks cool, um, it is another one of those pay to lose skins. Which actually brings us to our number two spot, and this is the Dark Vanguard. So, no, we're not talking Dark Voyager. He is still one of my favorite skins of all time. The Dark Vanguard is like the female equivalent. And you know how you had that little bit on the Dark Voyager? Well, it's just, it's just all over bright orange. And that's not my only issue is, you know, again, the, the attractive colors. The other thing is I bought it like really hyped up because I, I love the Dark Voyager and I just don't think that this, this skin really, uh, it didn't, it didn't compare. It just couldn't match the awesomeness of the Dark Voyager and for that reason I was kind of like, well, it's cool but like, it is what it is. Anyways though guys, um, we're gonna, we're gonna bring it in to our number one spot here and I'm just gonna say this, um, you know, like, like, <laughs> I was gonna say that this is an objective opinion. Um, no, it's, it's entirely subjective that I even would think that this is objective. Fuck the bright gunner. I am sorry, I try not to swear in my videos, but that skin is literally a $15 backpack. It's just, it, it, how are you going to take the, the greatest, I, I think the Bright Bomber is, is, is probably the best skin to ever grace Fortnite, okay? How are you going to take that and just... I think they did probably the best that they could have done with it, but I just... Honestly, like, I just... How are you even going to, to try to match that? The Bright Gunner was a doomed concept from the start, 
And it just makes me sad that they even tried to recreate that. It was such an absolute cash grab, okay? I don't care if you even like the Bright Gunner, you, you have to admit, the only thing that is even remotely cool about this is, is the backpack. And does the backpack look good on the Bright Bomber? Oh, wait, no, you know who it looks great on? The Bright Bomber. And how convenient is it that Fortnite puts the Bright Bomber into the shop once a week? Dude, listen, I know it's a free-to-play game and, and Epic can really do what they want, but all, all they did, all this skin served to do was, hey, we've got a really cool back bling for the Bright Bomber, let's make a, a shitty version of the Bright Bomber, make people pay $15 for the backpack, and there you go. That being said, I have absolutely no regrets on buying it because the Bright Bomber looks so much better with it. At the end of the day though, um, I think the Bright Gunner is my most salty purchase just because I, I never use it. Because literally at the end of the day, the only people that bought the Bright Gunner were people that had the Bright Bomber and they wanted the backpack. Ladies and gentlemen, Epic Games, okay? Geniuses. They, they got the world to pay $15 for an animated non-actual physical uh, backpack. It's still just so awesome. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes my rant session of, you know, really I should have just titled this video, um, 10 skins I'm regretful on purchasing. But uh, no, at the end of the day, you know, you just sometimes gotta rant it out, okay? You know, this is just my opinion. Um, I'm sure the comment section is gonna be salty no matter what, but uh, it is what it is and we're gonna, we're gonna wrap it up right there. Thank you guys for coming out to the video. Um, wanna just, yeah, that's, that's really it. You know, thanks again for two million. And uh, like I said, that, that two million special is gonna be a while, but it's gonna be worth it. So thank you very much. Talk to you later. Peace out, you freaking nerds. Yeah, roasted, got em, haha. -ha. I'm stupid, just bye.